Now, in news from Argentina, libertarian economist Avia Millet has been sworn in as Argentina's new president. Millet's resounding election victory earlier this month came as the country grapples with the severe economic crisis, which the libertarian leader vows to resolve with quote-unquote shock therapy. Listen in. Yo, Javier Gerardo Milei, juro por Dios y por la patria sobre estos santos evangelios desempeñar con lealtad y patriotismo el cargo de presidente de la nación argentina y observar y hacer observar fielmente en lo que de mí depende la constitución de la nación argentina. Sí, juro. The 53-year-old libertarian economist takes the reins of Latin America's third biggest economy as the country steals itself for harsh spending cuts and economic reforms to tackle rampant inflation. Javier Millet, in his maiden speech, vowed a new era for the country, but also warned of a painful austerity and economic crisis that would worsen before it gets better. Ningún gobierno ha recibido una herencia peor que la que estamos recibiendo nosotros. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky attended the swearing-in ceremony along with other world leaders, including Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, former Brazilian President, and others in attendance included presidents of Ecuador, Paraguay, Uruguay, along with Chile's leftist leader and the King of Spain. Hoy comienza una nueva era en Argentina, una era de paz y prosperidad, una era de crecimiento y desarrollo, una era de libertad y progreso. The inauguration of the new Argentinian president may turn out to be a big affair for the Ukrainian president as well. Zelensky is on his first trip to Latin America where he's eyeing support for Ukraine and in a rare outreach to the global south, both Moscow and Kyiv have courted Latin American countries, which have been divided over their stance on the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. Now, President Zelensky discussed the Russian invasion of Ukraine with the leaders of Ecuador, Paraguay and Uruguay in the meeting in Buenos Aires on Sunday. The three South American countries who had voted in favor of a February 2023 UN resolution calling for an end to the war in Ukraine. It will also be interesting to see whether there will be a meeting between the Hungarian Prime Minister and the Ukrainian President. Hungary's Prime Minister is the only EU leader who has maintained close ties with Russian President Putin and since the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war.